Welcome to The Carroty Show, a show about carrot. This season, we're talking through the 12 Agile principles and how carrot himself embodies each one. Today's principle is, at regular intervals, the team reflects on how to become more effective, then tunes and adjusts its behavior accordingly. To unpack this principle, let's talk about The Carroty Show. Season two of The Carroty Show has been a learning experience for both myself and Carrot. Neither of us had any idea what we were getting ourselves into when we set a goal of filming an episode for every Agile principle. That's 12 episodes. Yet here we are, in episode 12, looking back at how we became more effective over time. So, how did we get here? From the beginning, we approached season two with an Agile mindset. We had an overall goal of filming an episode for each Agile principle, and that goal kept us focused and aligned throughout the season. We didn't have a detailed upfront plan around how we would accomplish that goal. We simply took it one episode and one principle at a time. Throughout the season, we inspected and adapted. In other words, we learned. We learned that what Carrot did on screen was less important than what was being said. So we focused more on the scripts and just let Carrot do his thing. We learned that it helped to have a basic but flexible format for each week's script. We learned that having a consistent cadence of writing, recording, and editing helped keep the momentum going and minimized burnout. And those are just a few things that we learned and improved on. In an Agile organization, Individuals and teams should always be looking for ways to become more effective. There is no ceiling, no perfection when it comes to an Agile team. There is only the realization that no matter how effective a team is now, it can always be even more effective. This relentless approach to continuous improvement is at the core of agility and should be embodied in every team and in every level of the organization. Thanks for watching, and remember, you can be a big pig too.